Rhymebell is now online. Hey guys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to add an audio file to your HTML website. Let's go! Alright, so the first thing you want to do is to set up your HTML tags. Setting up an audio is similar to setting up an image. You want to start off by typing in audio, then you want to set the source, and then you want to end up with setting controls. Controls is just a basic command for pausing, playing, skipping the timeline, and turning up the volume. Then you want to close off your audio tag. The thing about audio is that some browsers don't know how to run this, so you want to add like an error so it doesn't seem like you're ignoring those people. And our error tag is going to be a paragraph and it's going to say, your browser does not support this fire beat. <laughs> yeah, and then they're going to feel bad and then they're going to get a better browser and then they're going to hear your audio. So this is pretty much a structure for an audio. So now you gotta get your music. So hopefully you got your music on your computer and not on the web. And if it's on the web, you can try and find out how you can download it. But if you have it on your computer, you wanna use Windows E to go to Fire Explorer and find it. All right, so once you found it, you wanna open a Google window and this is gonna help us find the path for our music. So we're gonna drag and drop our music onto Google Chrome. This is how, you wanna hit Alt Tab, drag your music over to the URL box, and there, there we go. Now we can see our URL of our music. If you hit enter, you can play our music and stuff like that, but we're interested in the URL path. So just go ahead and copy that, and now we can paste that in the source. And that's pretty much how to do it. So all you gotta do now is just save it as a .html file if you haven't, and then you just want to open it up using containing folder. Awesome. And there we go. That's how to add an audio file to your HTML website. And of course you can do a lot more with this. You can add loops. You can add autoplay. <laughs> we'll talk about autoplay in a second, but you can add a lot of cool things to this. So let's go ahead and play it. DC <sighs> on track, boy. All right, let's talk autoplay. Autoplay sounds really cool. When you visit a website, it starts playing. I mean, it can't be that hard. Easy. Well, it's actually not that easy. Before making this video, I had a lot of research trying to find out the perfect solution to adding autoplay. It turns out there's actually no solution. Well, there might be, but I just didn't find it. I don't know if it's just my browser, but if it is my browser, then that makes no sense. Because if anyone else has Chrome browser, that's not gonna work for them. And that's like, not oh, web making, that's like something else. So there's no need adding that if it's not gonna work. And that's it guys. That's how to add an audio to your HTML site. Until next time, rhyme below.